I've recently surpassed 500 subscribers. That's great, and I'm steadily going on my way towards 600. But I've been itching for something that's a bit more um, creatively stimulating, or I guess you could call more challenging creatively. I love that feeling when you see some of your work and you're like, that is sick. Mm. But with the stuff I'm doing now, it's all about like shooting quickly and um, I've been making content like Barcelona, Ireland, Greece. And those have been cool, but th those, that's travel content. And I like travel content, but I'm realizing now that I kind of want to, yeah, I, I don't know, I want to try, I want to try different things. What I do in real life, I still make videos, but I just do it for people and businesses. Um, recently, I have just started my own production house called Supercolor Studios, and um, I want to grow that. But the problem is, if I'm growing my company and also working on a YouTube channel, I want both of those things to sort of work together rather than against each other. It's a lot of time to be growing separate brands. So this is a way in which I can basically connect my company with this, which I would describe as my personal work. I want both of those things to sort of merge into one cohesive focus. So these videos and these challenges that I'm doing today, I want to grow them in their complexity, I want to grow them in their budget, and hopefully move on to bigger and better things. And that will take the form of commissioned client work, personal short films, and one day, the big goal, the big goal here is a feature film, like a movie. That's what I'm going to aim for. So, we're gonna start here, let's get started. It's the 1st of November and I'm gonna create this first thing. I've got a concept which is take dating apps and make some sort of commercial and have just an interesting marriage between the two. My first idea is simply just doing a really romantic um, like 30 second advert and using free stock imagery to sort of like build this beautiful advert. The most important thing being the music. What if I made a really heartwarming advert with this? This is the point where we do some research. So I'm going to go onto YouTube here and I'm going to type in Hinge commercial to see if they've actually made commercials before. So their whole, I remember this, their whole thing was um, dating app designed to be deleted. Hinge wants you to meet someone great. So they got some adverts. We've got one more here. What's up, man? I'm deleting you. He's deleting us. No. What? Oh, yeah. Right. No, no, no. Who's this guy think he Whoa. is? No, no, guys, I mean, you were the perfect profile pictures, right? I mean, that's why I don't need you anymore. Did you join the monastery? What? You know, I saw this coming. Is it a dog friendly monastery? No, guys, I. I met someone. Aww. Wow. I mean, that's incredible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hinge. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. The dating app designed to be deleted. Stop the Hinge. Um. Pexels, that's it. That's what I was looking for. The one idea I had was like the Billie Eilish song, and then like a kind of mixture of footage where people are like quite upset because dating is all about a kind of cycl cyclical nature. And it's kind of, I want the video to maybe start with sadness and then get more hopeful. Girl crying, let's just see. This is quite good, she's on her phone. We are in 9x16 slow motion. This is going to be a 9x16 thing anyway, isn't it? Lit. Free download. Okay. That's quite beautiful. Um, we're going to add like grain to this and shit as well to gas it up. What else? Tearful eye. I'm going to see if there are like close-ups of the eye. Ooh. 
I would love to have like a group of friends all around one person trying to console. Let's type in console. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is okay because we're going for 30 seconds. And that so that's around like just over three seconds a clip. Okay, we're gonna call this uh, we're gonna call this No, we're gonna call this stock. Boom. In you go. Here we are in the blank canvas that is my editing setup. I'm gonna do 30 minutes of editing and uh, then we're gonna see where we are. Okay, also a little change of plan. I'm going to extend this thing by more than double because I don't think I can tell the story in 24 seconds. Okay, I've extended it. We went from, I forgot how many clips there were, but now we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 clips, 57 seconds. It is now time for the grade, and I am adding an adjustment clip onto everything, and I'm going to make this look like Super 8 footage, organic, a romantic kind of vibe. That breakup was so hard, it felt like the world was ending, it took a long time to heal. I do quite like, so get out there again and find someone. I do like that. But I think my voiceover that I was doing was just sounding a bit, bit too forced. There we are, Hinge V1. I've done a little bit of grading, added some stuff. Nothing crazy in depth, nothing very scientific, just throwing some shit together. So now it's literally just a collection of clips, music, a logo at the end, and great, some grading. I'm gonna show it to the missus, see what she thinks. You ready? Mm -hmm. Wow! Really? Oh, it's so good! Oh, really? Is the idea meant to be that it might be bad, but it might also lead to something great? The idea is like telling a story between like how we never give up on love. Oh, that's really good. Thanks. So my next thing was potentially doing a script. I think you should do a little a tag. Script. Maybe a little, yeah, there needs to be like a tagline to link it all together. Yeah, my script was that breakup was so hard. It felt like the world was ending. It took a long time to heal. Something, 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 something. And then so get out there again and find someone. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. I'm going to get a female voiceover on it. Female voiceover. That's the next step. I think a female would be better. Yeah. Wow, I'm I'm so glad you enjoyed that. I loved it. Did you feel like you it evoked emotion? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Till we resume um, tomorrow. It's ten in the morning and I'm drinking uh, beer. It's non-alcoholic. We were drinking these last night. And I've been use, trying to use AI software to change my voice. Because um, I feel like it should be a v female VO. I've got this little setup. Hey! It's coming through here. But the voice things I'm using aren't cutting it. So I'm exploring different types. I'm on 11 labs. And um, I have used a AI voice called Eleanor. And listen to this. I think this is quite nice. And I've here's the script that I've written. When we go through those difficult breakups, we often feel like strangers in our own lives. But after the hurt, we do it again. To find ourselves falling for another stranger, running through a familiar process. And yet it feels like falling in love for the first time. That could be all right. I might do some... Um little bit of uh, fixing or like 
you know, trying other options, but with the music mixed in and cut, it could could work. When we go through those difficult breakups, we often feel like strangers in our own lives. After the hurt, we do it again. To find ourselves falling for another stranger. Running through a familiar process. And yet it feels like falling in love for the first time. So get out there and find someone. I'm about to post on the uh, Supercolor TikTok, and I've uh, and I've tagged Hinge. So hopefully they'll maybe see it and be like, "That's a cool thing." Let's find out. Here we go. Boop. Post video publicly. Yes, post it. Fuck it, you know. Fuck it. 